Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, April the 17th. We're, we're counting down to Como Wellness. Aaron Brown is with us. Good to have Hi. you here, Aaron. We've talked about this several times in the past, but let's bring our listeners up to date. Como Wellness is coming up in May. Yes, May 6th. May 6th. And the purpose of this is... It's a one-day conference. Um, it is for medical professionals, for parents, for anybody who's just wanting to learn how to optimize health through nutrition and good mm -hmm. eating. And that our, 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 our body relates well to good food and good nutrition. And I think you That's were right. telling us in the past that you had an illness that nobody could figure out what the problem was <laughs> and curing it, and you changed your diet, you changed to good nutrition, and you felt better. You I did. Better. Yeah, it was a crazy thing. And I was in the hospital and saw lots of doctors and they really said, we don't know what's wrong with you. And then I found a doctor several months later that said, you need to change what you're eating. Yeah. And almost overnight, well, I was significantly better. How, how, how many doctors have you got participating in this? Well, we have four MDs that will be speaking and one registered dietitian. Mm -hmm. And right now, about 25% of the people that we've sold tickets to are medical professionals. So we're really excited about that. We really want to reach the medical professional so community. So the medical professionals professionals yeah. are coming to this to try to learn more. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the doctors we have coming in are very well respected, very well known, both locally, but as well as nationally. And so they're a great resource for anyone. Mm -hmm. can, can just someone in the general public come out to this too? Yes, and as for They're them as well. They're not gonna feel out of place? No, not at all. And again, the other 75% of our audience, that's who we have. It's parents who wanna help their kids optimize their health, who wanna prevent and treat chronic illness in their kids. It's people like me who maybe were suffering in the past or just want to make sure they're avoiding going down that road. Mm -hmm. And so the speakers will have great research, great evidence of like their clinical trials, but also very practical advice for anybody. Will there be um, food uh, to taste and demonstrate? Well, you know, two of our sponsors are actually nourished and range free. And so they'll be there in the lobby during breaks and lunch. And you can get treats from them. Um, you can get Chipotle lunch there as well if you choose to. Uh, but no, we have um, Terry Walls, who's one of our keynote speakers. She has a brand new cookbook that just came out a day or two ago. And we'll have it available there as well that people okay. can get and have it signed. All right. Also. So if, if people want uh, more information, they want to be a part of Como Wellness, um, what do they do? They just go to the website. It's comowellnessconference.com. You can buy a ticket there. There's more information about all our speakers and their topics as well, or they can email us from the website. And it's a one to. day. It's a one day conference. It's a one day, about 8 a.m. to 4:30 p.m. Where? Um, here in Columbia, it's going to be held at the Crossing Church. Now, can you just show up that day, or do you need to sign up ahead of time? We will see. It kind of depends. You want to get your tickets soon. If we have enough tickets the day of, we will take the day of registration, but it'll kind of be the week before before we know if we still have extra seats or not. Okay. So if you really are interested in going, you yeah. should sign up ahead of time. Definitely. All right, Aaron Brown, thank you so much for thank coming you. by. Okay. Now, we turn to Linda Shush. <laughs> right? Well done. <laughs> so Linda Shush from Jabberwocky Studios. I, I like that. You got a good last name in Jabberwocky Studios. Uh, what is what is Jabberwocky Studios? So we're a nonprofit arts organization. We're located on Business Loop, very close to Hickman High School. And um, we've been around for just over two years. And our mission is to unite all the different diverse people in Columbia through the um, combined pursuit of the arts. So really to try to build community among people who maybe nece wouldn't necessarily come across each other in the daily course of their oh, existence here. Oh, so you're, all, here. You're, you're, you're almost like a clearinghouse, aren't you? For getting we, people together. We would together. love to be a clearinghouse. Getting yes. people together. Yes, exactly. Why well, you come up with Jabberwocky? So that's from the Lewis Carroll poem that was in one of the Alice in Wonderland stories. Uh -huh. and it's a nonsense. It's a very creative poem because it's a nonsense poem. And it's a kind of a coming of age story. So yeah. That's what we okay. Think about. So, how many different people, types of people, do you have? We have, uh, well, we have people from all different socioeconomic statuses. Um, in fact, last last session, 20% um, of our students were at or below the federal poverty level. Um, we have people from all different uh, races, ethnicities. We have um, people who are immigrants. At, we have first-generation Americans at the studio. So we have a nice mix of people coming through the studio. People who are listening to us and watching us right now, if they want to become a part of this and they have, they feel that they have some type of art that they can contribute, 
what are you looking for? You said somebody come up and said, I think I can draw or I think I can dance, but I'm not sure. Can I, can you take a look at me and see? Is that something that so, you would consider? Yeah, in fact, well, in fact, some of the programming that we offer, we offer it because people who have those talents have come to me and said, we have somebody who's teaching belly dancing at the studio. We have somebody who's teaching African dancing um, because they came to me and said, you know, this is something, would you be interested in this? And so okay, we so tried it out. do do that. Yeah. Uh -huh. So if, if you're so, listening and you think you've got something that's a little unique, but you're not sure, you can just contact Linda Shush. Mm -hmm. And uh, how do they, what's your phone number? 573-239-9899. Okay. And just talk Call, with text. her. text. Talk with her about it. Yeah. Um, how many people all together would you say you have? Uh, I mean, t instructors or students? All together, the whole group. So, oh, well, I think if you roll together this, the students and the instructors and the in-studio classes, we probably have over 100 people participating each session. But in addition to that, like last year, we reached over 2,000 Columbians because Columbians, because we also have partnerships with uh, Adventure Club, Boys and Girls Club, and we provide arts programming to those organizations as well. Oh, that's great. So, you were telling me also, you have somebody that plays, what is this with their thumbs? So, uh, it's called the Mbira. It's uh -huh. an African, it's called a thumb organ. So, but we're gonna be having, uh, on May 5th and 6th, we're hosting an African cultural festival at the Missouri United Methodist Church. Mm -hmm. And so our African dance instructor will be there. And she's bringing in some of her professional and colleagues. And they will be, the thumb so organ? We'll have one man there who's gonna be actually teaching a workshop on how to play the Play the thumb, thumb organ. organ, and they'll also be drumming? They'll be African drumming, and they're actually, as a, uh, a group of African drummers here in Columbia, and we'll also be bringing some in from St. Louis. There's going to be African flute. Oh, that sounds um, so The interesting. African foods to taste. Oh, that's um, wonderful. I mean, it really sounds interesting. So uh, give Linda a call at Jabberwocky Studios, and you're bringing people together from a very diverse uh, culture. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that's what makes the world. And you know what? That's what makes Columbia so special, too. We are a diverse community, and there's a lot of love here. Yes. Yeah, for a city of our size, we're just very rich and diverse. Yeah. yeah. Linda, shush, thank you so much again. Uh, do you have a website? Yep, jabberwockystudios.org. Okay. All right, we're out of time for today. Tomorrow, Mid-Missouri Better Business Bureau. Sean Spence will be with us. Something you'd like to hear or see, drop me an email, pepperp at missouri.edu. Bye-bye.